guys, this is Faith with Tampa Bay Ponds and Rocks, the most amazing pond store in Florida. Today we're going to talk about how to get rid of that disgusting pea green pond water. Looks like pea soup. It always tends to come back, especially in the spring and the summer. So pea soup water is actually tiny floating algae molecules to turn your water green. The best treatment is prevention. There are two really good ways to help prevent algae blooms. The first is to make sure you have enough plants in your pond. So plants will help reduce algae by taking out the excess nutrients from the water that would otherwise fuel algae blooms as part of the nitrogen cycle. Um, we typically recommend between 25 to 50% of your pond be plants. The second way to prevent algae blooms is by using beneficial bacteria on a regular basis. Beneficial bacteria is exactly what it sounds like. It's good bacteria for your pond. Beneficial bacteria comes in many different forms. It helps reduce algae bloom much in the same way that plants do. It starves the algae by taking out the excess nutrients in the ponds that would otherwise fuel a bloom. Um, we've had the best results with the Aquascape or the Microglyph brand. We recommend adding beneficial bacteria once a month or any time that you clean out your filter media with city water. The reason being is city water usually contains chlorine or chloramines, which will kill off that good bacteria. So you want to reseed that filter every time that you clean it out with that water, or just use your own pond water to clean out the filter. Now, if you want a quick fix, you want to use an algicide. The most effective brand that we found is Aquascape. It's safe for fish and plants if you dose correctly. So you have to make sure you know the gallons of your pond before you add the algaecide. It's very important. Otherwise, if you overdose, you can end up taking the oxygen out of the water and killing your fish. Um, so I will include some formulas in the comments to help you calculate the gallons in your pond. So the algaecide is going to kill off the algae molecules and the dead particles will be washed through your filter media. So we always recommend using a very dense filter media pad along with the algaecide. This will catch the dead particles so you can remove them and get rid of that pea green water even quicker. Be sure you clean out your filter pad at least 24 hours after you use the algaecide and again the day after. If you don't, what's going to happen is the dead algae is going to fuel another algae bloom and you're probably going to end up with pea green water again. So you'll just be wasting your money. So remember, clean out that filter. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found any of this to be useful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more expert water feature advice.